Ford Focus and Fiesta, dual clutch automatic transmission. I'm going to be using Scan to do a manual clutch point learn, clutch touch point learn. Right now I am battling a delayed one to two upshift when it's cold. And this all started when I was using Scan to do an adaptive learn just for a video. And so I believe it is adaptive learn related. But after the diagnostics and repairs I've done so far, if this doesn't fix it, is it is just a quirk of the clutch. But let me go ahead and try this. If you're not familiar with using Forescan, I do have another video on how to do the adaptive learn with Forescan. And I go through more fine details with it. But uh, in a nutshell here, I have an OBD Link EX I got from Amazon for about $60. Okay. Let me connect that up here. Connect it to the laptop. And I do have Forescan downloaded. The two month free license on it. Okay, I've got four scan here. Start it up. I'm gonna turn the key on with the engine off. I'm gonna click the connect to vehicle icon there, right there. Everything's kind of small in here because it's 4K, I believe. It's going through and connecting to the vehicle. It is cold outside and I'm about to freeze to death. Okay. Okay, it's uh, complete. It's connected to the vehicle now. I clicked on that wrench right there, the uh, service procedures, and TCM Adaptive Learn. Click on that. Run service procedure. That little play button that my cursor is on. Click. All right. Vehicle is not moving. All right. From here, I'm going to go ahead and do a clutch adaptive learn. Run through it here. Make sure it's in park. Hold the brake pedal. Press OK. I'm just going to take you through here, show you exactly what I do. Pretty much, I'm going to be going through this until it tells me to start the engine. And then I'm going to close everything out, and I'm going to learn it myself. I need to go through first and reset everything here. And it'll do the shift drum, adaptive learn. You hear that? That's what it's doing right now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. I clicked cancel. Now I'm going to click exit. All right. Okay. Get this uh, laptop back inside here and go drive it. Do be mindful, since you cleared the adaptive tables and you're doing a manual learn, it's going to not want to move and reverse and drive. You're going to have to give it a little gas to start learning and touching there. Without further ado here, also it's going to run or shift poorly for the first few miles. Don't freak out. All right, I'm in reverse. Let off the brake and I'm rolling forward because I'm on a decline. Watch this. Give it some gas. It's already starting to learn a little bit here. Apologies ahead of time for the sun glare, but uh, I'm in drive now. I'm going to give it a little throttle. Get up this hill. Go around this turn and start accelerating. Listen to it shift. See, it's just kind of delayed and uh, kind of clunky, but I promise you the more you drive it over the course of a week or two, it's going to improve drastically and eventually shift perfectly. It may take a little longer for reverse to engage properly just because it's not used as much. My second gear engagement felt decent there, other than the clunkiness from the lack of the adaptive learn. I mean, I don't feel it hesitating like that, like it was before, but um, I do need to drive it and let it relearn for a while, and then I'll post in the description below whether it fixed my one to two shift delay, doing the manual adaptive learn here. About to turn on to a road here, 55 mile an hour road. It's uh, only been about a mile and it's becoming more and more drivable. Here we go. Second gear feels really nice compared to what it was before. I think this is going to fix my issue. See, it's getting better and better by the minute. And once again, it's not going to be perfect until, you know, a couple, you know, a week or two. Um, it'll get better and better as you drive it. You may still have some firm shifts occasionally, but it'll uh, over time go away. And once again, reverse is going to take some time because you don't reverse as much as you drive forward, obviously, there. So that, uh, that covers it. That's how you do a um, manual 
clutch adaptive learn you just go in with four scan and you clear you, you reset all the learn touch point values you do the shift from adaptive learn pretty much you go through the you're just going to be going through the clutch adaptive learn and uh, once it tells you to start the engine you close everything out that's it it's that simple and then you just go drive it and be patient give it a week or two and it'll start shifting perfectly fine thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below i also have a facebook and discord group you can ask questions in have yourselves a great day good luck to you